Yeah, how can I help you today? <laughs> I mean, say, yeah. You said God is imaginary. Can you prove that? Yeah, which one? Which God? Uh, well, mm, just God. Yeah, so when we ask the question, what God, like, does God exist or not exist? It all depends on your definition, right? If I think that God is my my nose, well, then of course God's real, right? Uh, but if you think God is a supreme being who died on a stick and rose from the dead, I'm going to say, whoa, wait a minute. That's ridiculous to me. Right? Well, so like, yeah, so I, let's just, let's just, uh, let's hold from like a, let's look at it from like a deist. Let's look at it from a deist, like point of view for right now. Would that be okay? Okay. Yeah, so we're talking about uh, all powerful, all omnipotent, all knowing creator. That's all, that's that's what we know for right now. That's all. Is that cool? Got it. So, how is how is this person? Uh, how is that imaginary? Can you prove that? Uh, well, there's a lack of evidence for it. Um, <laughs> so, for, when you say prove, right? Can you prove it doesn't exist? I'm not saying I can prove it doesn't exist. What I'm saying is it's likely not real because there's no evidence for it. And there's uh, some contradictions and paradoxes with the omnipotence definitions, the uh, omniscience definitions, things like that. Wait, so maybe you should change the prompt from God is imaginary to prove to me God exists. Maybe, because... you, should, maybe you should change to giving evidence for God. <laughs> well, no, because Mike, if you make a claim, you have to substantiate the claim and prove your claim. Otherwise, you just have I, a... I, I already just explained to you, right? I explained to you that when I say God's imaginary, what I mean is there's no evidence for it. So, so can you give evidence for God? Yeah, wait, so you're, what you're saying is... So wait, so when you say God is imaginary, you're saying... Uh, there's no evidence. Wait, you, you you do realize that just just because said thing doesn't have any evidence, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, right? Congratulations. Now, can you give evidence for wait, God? Wait, now? Wait, wait. So, with that being said, um, is there something that's is something that imaginary exists? No, it doesn't exist in reality. Can you give so evidence? Exactly, so, wait, for God with that now? being said, you, can you uh, give evidence for so God when you're, when you're yeah, exactly. So, no, when, when you're talking about imaginary, you're not just simply talking about something you don't have evidence for because. Well, that's uh, what I mean by imaginary. I, what I mean is it likely doesn't exist. So what you're claim so what you're so wait, so it's what you're essentially claiming is that God doesn't exist, right? What I'm saying is God likely does not exist based on the the last of uh, lack of evidence. Based on what? Do you have evidence. <laughs> you wait, have but evidence? you're making the claim, Mike. I don't understand. The burden of proof is on you to make the claim. You look, look, the, like if you is... if you don't have an argument to why God well, is not this is just a way to get people in, right? I can go ahead and talk about specific gods, like the Christian God, where the omnipotence paradox comes in, right? The divine hiddenness issues. Or, yeah, I'm a, yeah, we can talk about I'm Christian. Yeah, I'm, I okay. forget it. Let's just talk about okay. Christian God. So then, so then give evidence of your God, right? This is what we're doing. You're going to come up and give evidence, or you can just go away. Well... I mean, I don't understand why the burden of proof is on me all of a sudden when you're the one making a claim. Well, you don't have to be, I'm not making a claim here. You said God is imaginary. Is that not a claim? I'm not making a positive claim necessarily. I'm saying there's just, I don't see any you evidence. You are making a positive claim. What? It doesn't, dude, it's just a... a it's old oh, clickbait. Oh, rage bait. That's what it is. <laughs> can you can you give evidence yes, for bait. God? Can you just give yeah. evidence for God now? Your well, God. Well, well, you said you said you have an argument against the Christian God, so I want to hear that one because I'm Christian. Yeah, why is there evil? If God is go all good, why is there evil? Oh, wow. You don't think this is non sequitur? Well, it seems that if God is being all good, uh, we get everything it desires. And if it desires all good things and there are bad things in reality, I would say that that's something that is an issue. It's, a par it, it's contradictory. Whoa, it's contradictory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nature. I want you to repeat everything you just said right now, but can you go slow for me? So I'll put it in you know, syllogistic form here. Um, does God get everything he desires? Does God get everything he desires? What do you what do you mean by what what do you mean by things he desire? Like what are you talking about? Can God fail in getting anything it desires? Or does it get everything it desires? Well, how do we know that God desires? I'm asking you, does God desire you to go to heaven? Desire me to go to heaven? 
Sure, yeah. Okay, then God desires. So can you please answer the question? Okay. Does God get everything it desires? Does God get everything he desires? No. <laughs> so then God is not omnipotent because then God fails. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, how does that follow? That's a non sequitur. Well, omnipotence would like typically mean a, a being who who gets and is able to do anything it needs. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not... <laughs> That's a non secular, Mike. So look, let me let me help you out here. So yeah. uh, being omnipotent uh, doesn't let, mean let, that you. Let, let me help you out here. Yeah, God, no, I'm, trying, I'm God, trying to explain to you. Can God, can God do everything <laughs> so, logically possible? Uh, can I can I show you the false dichotomy? Can you show me the definition of omnipotence? Does it mean you get everything uh, that's logically possible? Does it mean you can do anything that's logically possible? Yes or no? Yes, that means you can do. Yes, of course, omnipotence means you can do well. That you can do uh, anything that's logically possible, but okay, that doesn't mean great. that you do everything. So, that you, so wait, hold on, hold on. It doesn't entail that you do everything that's logically possible. That's what I'm saying. For instance, what I'm saying is God, God would, would make the sky would, purple if He wanted to. Look, 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 look. If your God desires us to go to heaven, he desires a relationship with us, right? Then clearly, he wants everybody to go to heaven. That's his desire he has. So it seems to me that if God exists and is all powerful, he would be able to enact that desire. If he wants his desire to come true, he would make that happen. Unless he fails at what he gets at what he wants. Is that correct? Okay, so no, here's uh, here's where this falls like here's where the false dichotomy is because you're leaving out the fact that humans themselves have their own desires, right? And so God is not going to. Not it, it is relevant. No, it's not relevant at all. Right? No, it is relevant well, because because God, according to the biblical narrative, He gives humans free will, so He gives the He gives okay. humans. Yeah. Gives, so first of he all, gives we humans can, the ability to act out their own desires. So if they if they choose to be away from God, and He's not going to force that person to go to heaven. So there you go. Yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't solve the issue, right? Because number one, we don't have to accept free will even exists. I don't. Need, I can just reject free will. But second of all, well, but but, but um, you, wait, but you, but according. And, se and second of all, um, couldn't God make a world where everybody goes to heaven freely? Yeah, but he didn't. So what? So then he chose to make a world where everybody, where people go to hell, instead of choosing one where people don't. That would seem like an evil action to me. Would you agree? Wait, so this is a complete pivot. So now you're talking about, so now you're, you went from trying to disprove the om omnipotence of God to now trying to disprove the omnibeleventh of God? Well, well, okay, well, that's all tied together, right? And this is the, the end of my argument. Wait, so are you going to concede to your other argument? What other argument? Because now you're, now you're, now you're, part of now you're, because now you're moving to now you're I think you're moving to goalposts and you're like you're jumping. I like how you're pivoting. You're not answering the question. No, you're pivoting. Why you're didn't God? To... Why, if God could have made a world where everybody freely goes to heaven, why didn't He do that? Why didn't He do it? If God can make a world where I, everyone possibly, because again, He gave us free will. He wanted us to act and act on free will. <laughs> yeah, you're not understanding. Right? What am I not understanding? You're not really about? tracking here. What am I not understanding here, Mike? Like free will is like I can grant you free will, right? I can just say, yeah, we have free will, even though that's nonsense. Um, the problem remains: God could have made a world where we we have free choice to go to heaven, and we all freely choose to go to heaven without any evil occurring. God could have made that world happen, but He didn't. He chose the one where lots of evil happens. Why? Why did God do this? Why did God choose the evil world? What do you mean choose the evil world? Well, don't doesn't God have choices? Didn't did God choose to make this world? He chose to make this world, but you're acting like there were okay. other worlds that go ahead. What were you gonna say? What, what, were, you, what were you gonna say? No, I cut you off. What were you gonna say? God chose to make this world out of the other possible worlds. And one of those possible worlds entails a world where everybody has free will and goes to heaven. And there's no evil. There's no gratuitous evil. But how would that disprove that God is omnipotent? Well, because that mean, it means he, he fails at getting what he desires. 
it's possible. It's largely possible for him to get, to get something, but he did, he he uh, fails at getting that. Wait, that didn't was, I already establish earlier that he? But made... it would also it wouldn't even omnipotence wouldn't even matter there, right? You can say you're, we can grant wait, so you wait, definition. Wait, so will you concede? Wait, will, will you concede that your argument? Wait, so you're, will you concede that your argument even? Well, isn't you're not. Even... I don't think you're. I don't think you're understanding the argument. It's not about omnipotence. Right. Oh, so it's no. Oh, so what you you can see it. Wow, it's, that's crazy. It's, a, it's wait, about so you, evil. Wait, so you left the omnipotence argument. Okay, fine. Yeah. So wait, wait. this was like this is the evidential problem. So now you're trying. So now you're trying to. So now you're trying to. Uh, you're are you running a problem of evil? Are you trying to? Um, yeah. This is the evidential uh, evidential problem of evil, right? Or, okay, we're so asking, yeah. Now, okay. okay so will you, so you're gonna so you're gonna concede to the uh, omnipotent thing. Well, Hold on. Will you respond. concede to your last argument? Like, are you gonna are you gonna drop that this one? This is all the same. Argument. That wouldn't work for you. I don't right? have two. This wasn't two arguments. So yeah, yeah this is this a different argument. You went, from, you went evil. from trying to disprove sure. God's omnipotence to um frog. now you're trying to disprove his op frog. Wrong. Why I don't know why you're repeating my That's name. Like, omnipotence. The definition. Wrong. I can work with your definition of omnipotence. That's not relevant. The problem remains. That's literally what you tried to disprove problem, earlier. I don't understand remains, how this is not relevant now. The problem remains that an all good God would create an evil world. I don't see why that would be the case if God is all good. Because he desires free will, he gave us free will. But free will is compatible with an all good world. Free will is compatible with an all good world? Yeah. What do you mean when you say all good world? A world without evil. A world without evil. But ultimately, the reason why thing, the the reason why evil things happen in the first place, is because we were living in an all good world in which humans made an action to go against what God that's, commanded. That's that's irrelevant. You're not you you're not quite grasping the argument. It doesn't matter if humans choose to do bad. We're talking about a world where humans don't choose bad. They have free will, and these beings don't choose bad look, man. We can also we can also look at a world where there's all good beings god could have made us all good or good natured such that we never would do bad in the first place so either which way you choose pick your poison the problem of evil remains look again the problem of evil argument is a dumb argument because the <laughs> one this is your refutation it's it's not meant to be a refutation. I'm just saying it's a very okay, dumb. Okay, so then you can't solve the problem of evil, right? This is the this is the point. This is why your God likely doesn't exist. This is evidence against. This is your not. This is not God. proof that my God doesn't exist, bro. Well, it would be more likely under naturalism for there to be evil, and less likely under theism for there to be evil. If your God is all good, that's evidence. That's what evidence means, right? Well, again, again, like. You, will you concede that your first argument didn't work and then I'll continue to engage? What do you mean argument? first argument? It was all the same argument. No, it's all not. You're talking about all omnipo you were talking, you're trying to disprove his omnipotence. Now you're trying to disprove omnipotence. That's a separate, like, that's a separate thing. We can talk about omnipotence. Yes, uh, I agree it's a separate thing. Okay, great. So get back to my argument. Can you address my argument or no? So you're saying, you're saying that because God did not choose the all good world, that means that God is not good. Yes, if he had that doesn't make any sense. He had the power that's, to that's make a non sequitur. Choice. You do realize that, right? That's literally a non sequitur. Okay, well, do you think it would be evil for me if I had the choice between a good world and a bad Wait, world? Hold on. Do, you know, do you know what some, do you frog? know what it means for something to be good? Frog, frog. If I had a choice between a good world and a bad world, right? A world where in the bad world people get graped and harmed, and a world where they don't. If I were to choose the the one where people get graped, would that be an evil thing for me to do? Or a good thing for me okay to do. this is a freaking false dichotomy bro it has to be a false dichotomy bro no way where's the why is it a false dichotomy bro, you're freaking making bro number one you're you're real you do realize that the reason why bad things happen in the world is because people enact out of their own free will it's not that that's irrelevant no 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 it is relevant it is relevant because it's not like God is choosing people to do these things. I never like, said he, I never said he was. You're not grasping. No, the that's argument. what yes, what you're implying. Bro, this is the last time I'm going to try this with you. You're not quite grasping it. Are you going to drop me? Nah, okay. no way. No, I want you to refute no the way, argument. Or go away. You're wasting your time. Oh, this is I'm the last not wasting time nobody's time. I'm cooking.
Yeah, you're cooking uh, nothing but garbage. So <laughs> when it comes to your God, your God had a choice between a very uh, a myriad of possible worlds. One where there's all good beings, they all freely choose good, and one where they don't. Why did your God choose the world with evil instead of the world with good? Why? Can you answer that? <clears throat> because when it came to this world, living in this world, right, with evil, evil only exists because of free will. The ability Not, to all answer. right, you're, yeah, you're done, bro. You don't know what the fuck how is I, going on. How you're am so I damn done? lost? <laughs> how am I done? I you're so lost. We 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 grant you free will. We know that free evil is because of free will. That's irrelevant. What's relevant is God's choice. Why did He choose the world where people do bad? So that He can. So okay. So so Adam and Eve could be tested. What? The tested for what? Because if there was no, if if they were not able to eat from that tree, right? How like it? They wouldn't necessarily like. They would just be doing whatever. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong with that? What's so bad about that? Like it wouldn't it wouldn't even be love because they 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 would just be forced to live in this world where they like they don't even so know if they saying, have the option. So you're saying they don't, even know, if they, they don't even know if they have the options to choose God or not, bro. So you're so you're saying that they do. They would have free will still. And by the way, you're saying a world where there's rape and murder is a more loving world than one where there isn't? That's not what I said. That's completely okay, a strong then, then love That's a straw still, man argument. Then love would still exist under the world where there's only it'll just be forced happen. love. It'll just be forced love. That's it's all. It's not forced. It's not forced. They yes, have it is because choice. they don't have the options to choose God or go against them. Yes, That's they do. Love. They have free will still. No, because if there's not an op, for instance, like Yes, they have okay, free let's, will let's still. Define, let's define what an option is. Like, I think I'm coming back, right? So look, um, let's define what an option is. An option is whenever you have two decisions, like you, you have uh, multiple decisions to make, right? And so in this case of a, um, in this world that we live in, in a garden, they had two options. They either choose to chose God or uh, they chose to go against God via eating the tree. Now, if you're talking about an all quote unquote all good world, right? These guys wouldn't have an option to go against God, so it would be yes, forced. Yes, they love. do. They have the choice to choose God or, or not, but they always choose God with their free will. Well, if they always choose God and they're not necessarily, it's not out of love. I mean, it's just forced. They don't necessarily even it's have not free forced. will. They, they're freely doing it. Freely. They don't even have free will at that point. Yes, then. they do. They're just choosing to do all only good things only good things like what how how would that even make sense if you have free will if you're only choosing a good good thing but okay, you know does, you have does, but okay, you does have god does god have free will does god have free will yeah i mean i i i don't think i don't think god has a, i don't think god has like i don't think not not in, a, not in the same way that that humans do Sir, does God have free will? Can God freely choose to start from A to B? Um, hmm. I honestly does I honestly don't know the answer. So maybe you have to get a get different Christian because I don't study metaphysics. Okay, like have a good day, bro. <laughs> oh man. I wish I could just live in bliss every day. Uh, keep uh, keep tapping, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, cool. Thank you for the adventure. He uh, he came up so confident. Oh, prove to me that God isn't real. Then he was like, oh, well, be, 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 be. get a different Christian. Get a different Christian. Okay. Um, let's have the next victim in here. Hey, good evening. How are you? Great. How can we help you? Uh, I, I've been watching your live for a few minutes, and uh, I figured I'd chime in with my two cents. So, uh, prove God is imaginary. Well, uh, that's in your belief. That's your choice. Um, in my personal belief, Wait, you know, do you have evidence for God, though. 
I don't care about what the fuck you believe. I just want evidence for what you believe. Well, uh, if we label God as a creator, he would he would have the ability to start a project, right? Correct, like an artist. You know, an artist picks up a pen and draws something. He's the creator of that painting, that drawing, whatever. So, um, how is that so far fetched to believe? Yeah. So, what's your evidence of this painter for the universe? This uh, cancer painter who painted cancer and uh, great I, murder. I mean, maybe he's bored. I mean, who knows? Let's, I mean, let's paint bacteria today. Let's. Let's paint flesh eating bacteria today, guys. Okay, today we're going to paint cancer cells. Sure. Now we're going to paint disease. Sure. Now we're going to paint AIDS. <laughs> sure. Why not? If you had that ability, could would you do it? No, I would never paint cancer. I would never make cancer happen. That's stupid. That's ridiculous. Well, I mean, maybe maybe he had a bigger plan. I mean, you, oh, how do you know yeah. what your plan to watch children suffer from cancer? Yeah, that's such a great plan. <laughs> how many times have you witnessed that with your own eyes? Look, the problem with saying, well, maybe God has a plan, right? The problem with saying that is <clears throat> now you don't know what's good or bad objectively. Now you have no way, you have no compass because right. everything God does, you would just say, well, he has a reason, right? If there is some kind of terrible disaster where millions of people died. You would say, well, God has a reason. If God came down himself and started raping people and harming people, you'd still be like, well, maybe he has a greater plan, right? That's the problem. This opens Pandora's box. Now everything's permissible in your view. And this is the problem with being agnostic on this. Well, I mean, you, the other guy was talking about uh, um, the Garden of Eve and uh you know early early man so to speak right so in, in my understanding of, of he didn't and i don't think he understood understood a single thing of what i said hey how are you hello how are you great um so to answer the question of, of like why bad things happen like kids getting cancer so i think it gives healthy people a reason to care for others and work for a solution. I think we will eventually solve cancer, vision right. impairment, et cetera. I agree. I, I agree, but wouldn't it just make more sense if God just never had cancer in the first place, right? Like if, if the entire goal is to get rid of cancer, why didn't he just do that from the get-go, right? It doesn't make sense to like, make make so many people suffer right for no reason yeah i i used to think that way as well but i think it gives reason for people to change and grow and use their empathy like if everyone just got everything they wanted was healthy was perfect then no one would bother inventing or i i, I agree right so i agree from from our perspectives as as people we see value in you know things like cancer cures and vaccines right but the problem is if you believe in an all-powerful good god it wouldn't make sense for these things to exist because it's like he didn't have to make them right he didn't he, he right. Could, he could prevent them with the snap of his finger right so the problem right. is there's so much gratuitous suffering that's occurring that just didn't have to logically occur yep uh, I see your point there, and uh, me personally, I'm a Muslim, so I believe all the suffering we feel on Earth and in this life will be repaid to us in the afterlife, and the afterlife will be perfect the way okay. you describe that's, it. That's a great belief, but I'm asking for like evidence of this belief, right? Um, unfortunately, the only evidence I would be able to give is I've read it in the Holy Quran and whether you hold value to that, that's on you. No, it's not on me, right? Um, when we as, an analyze things, we analyze, uh, the evidence, we analyze the credence, the credibility, the reliability of these things. And so far the Quran is not falsifiable. The Quran has no credibility. It's just a story. It's a 
fables. It's a book of fables. Uh, it has some stories of history that obviously we can't prove without a time machine. But the rest of it makes sense, like ways of life, how debt is not good, how to treat people, yeah, and I'm et sure I'm sure it gives you a sense of life, but you know, doesn't make it true, right? I can I can write up any book and make it make sense, but it doesn't make it true. True, you know? true. Like I'm not gonna start living my life based off of Harry Potter. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, so do you have like the evidence for the Quran being correct or should I just get to the next victim? Um, so what what's the main topic here? Is God imaginary? I don't think so. I think it takes entire Uh, all right, bro. I'll be your next victim. Uh, how old are you? I'm 22. August okay. 22nd, 2001. Okay. Um, so you're so you were talking about uh how cancer is a thing and pretty much saying that God created it, right? Who else did? Yeah. According to the Bible, uh, and I'll, I'll give you a little bit of evidence after I tell you this. According to the Bible, uh, when Adam and Eve sinned, God cursed mankind. As time goes on, diseases happen more frequently. Uh, genetics fuck up more. Yeah, that's what. That's why you get Down syndrome, things like that. And you can scoff all you want, man. Okay. So where in the Bible does it talk about genetic mutations? So, I don't know, you, you probably can't hear me if I'm off of it. Let me pull it up in my Bible, actually. My physical copy. Give me a second. So, the curse. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, this is going to be uh, Genesis 4, 14. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this. Here, wait, I'm going to scroll. I'm going to go down a little bit further. I'm trying to find out where, find where he actually curses mankind. Give me a second. Uh, hello, sir. You yeah, there? you know, I have to like actually find the verse before I give it to you, right? I have to find the verse before I give it to you. All right, we'll come back when you're ready, all right, sir? Well, I'm ready. All right. All right, sir. Hello? Hey, Mike, how are you doing, brother? Great, are you in a, like, submarine <laughs> or something? Yeah, let me hold up one second. <sighs> can you hear me now? Hello, can you hear me? Unfortunately. Yeah, signal's weak. Can you hear me? Yeah. My yeah. Okay, awesome. Hey, not my first time. Um, I've done deep studies across the board between atheists, agnostics, uh, etc. Uh, I myself is a Christian. Before I go into this conversation, um, I really don't want it cyclical. Um, so I want to set up some parameters if that's okay with you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I want to hear you out. Quite honestly, everything I, I learned from this conversation, I take in deep thought and I hope you can do the same. Sound fair? Can you get to the evidence now? Get to the evidence now? Yeah. So uh, in your measurements, what, what is evidence? Is it eyewitness accounts? Is it our okay, there, There's an echo on your side. I cannot deal with that. Um, evidence is any falsifiable data that points to a specific conclusion over another. Uh, anything that raises the probability or likelihood of some proposition being true over another. Um, Please fix your microphone. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Still Great definition. Echo, exactly. There's still an echo. I cannot do with that. I'm sorry. There's an echo on your side. Come back later and fix the echo. Okay. It's very frustrating. <laughs> Hello? What's going on? Can you hear me? Yes. 
Great. Um, you want evidence, right? Mm-hmm. By the way, that that other guy, I don't, I don't think he had an echo. I would like, I couldn't hear it, but I guess you could. Thank you. Now, can you get to the evidence? Um. So, like the other guy was saying, like you consider evidence as what? Data or facts to point to a conclusion. Okay. So my first set of data is eyewitness accounts of Jesus. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all saw read and heard about Jesus, or no, they all saw Jesus, they wrote about him, they published in a book. Okay, so r right off the bat, there's a big fucking red flag, right? Okay. The Gospels are not contemporary. Mark, Matt, Mark, Luke, and John, those are not contemporary eyewitness, let alone eyewitness accounts. They're, they were written decades after Jesus died, so they can't be eyewitness accounts. <clears throat> How do you know they were written decades after Jesus died? Well, this is the consensus amongst uh, biblical scholars like Bart Ehrman and others, right? We can date them. Um, well, there's also biblical evidence that are points you using that, the restroom? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I just got done taking a shit. I, 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 I mean, I, I was watching your live and I was like, I was like, damn. I can smell it from here. Okay, <laughs> what do you got, brother? I want to say, uh, love your stuff. See your speed, your TikTok. Love your videos. Um, so you say God is a Mandarin, meaning you don't believe he exists, correct? Right. So I personally believe um, God exists just by the evidence that of what you see in the world, in the universe um how everything works so well together how everything seems to fall into place like for example uh the trees and us trees you know they uh, exhale oxygen for us to breathe <coughs> carbon dioxide i'm just gonna start with that i don't want to ramble on i'm sure you have something to kind of act that <coughs> would you say we breathe oxygen <coughs> we br take it oxygen <sighs> yes just seeing how the ecosystem Sorry, works I'm so well with us. Sometimes people get heart attacks. Um, anyway, yeah, everything's perfect, you know. Uh, perfect eyesight. You know, perfect eyesight. You know, <clears throat> no asteroid impacts, no extinctions. Everything's perfect. So I say that's great evidence of God. No, this is ridiculous. Nothing's perfect. Um, I, I think what you're saying is, the universe works in ways that I understand, therefore there must be somebody behind this. And I think that's a, a very fallacious reasoning. I think that uh, there's natural explanations that don't require God. Sorry, I couldn't really hear. Can you repeat that last part? We have natural reasons as to why the things around us work the way they do. You don't have to invoke a magic man in outer space. <clears throat> Who cares about you and watches what you do in the restroom? Well, my argument is basically um, just even how our we we are built, uh, intelligent design. I would you know conclude an intelligent creator. For example, if you're in the middle of the Sahara and you see a computer just randomly there, you're not going to think, oh, the the desert created this computer. You would assume an intelligent designer you know, maybe by accident, but somebody placed that there. It wasn't made out of nowhere. Uh, life does not come from not life. Yes, it does. So first of all, yes, if I see a computer in the sand or on the beach, of course, I'm going to think that there's somebody who made that computer. But why? Because we have prior evidence of people making computers. But when it comes to, you know, clouds or volcanoes, nobody's going, oh, who made the volcano? Is there a magma man in the magma? making the magma come up? No, we're, there are natural processes that can explain the most of the things we see around us. Furthermore, life does come from non-life because life is a process. Life is what non-life does, not an object, it's a process. So when you understand this, you recognize how fallacious that, <clears throat> that uh, argument is. To be educated on that, um, if you can give more clarity on that.
look, I'm not here to be Bill Nye. I, I can teach you about abiogenesis. I have videos about it on YouTube, but I'm asking you for evidence of God. And if you can't provide that, just say you can't, and I'll move on. I think with the other guy, you were saying that the the Gospels, Mark, Luke, and John, were not reliable. Is that correct? They're not reliable, and they're not eyewitness accounts. They're okay. just stories that have seen be passed down verbally for for decades before they were written down. Well, I would argue that's evidence. The same way how we know that Napoleon, George Washington, Genghis Khan, how they existed. Me and you weren't around, but we depend on eyewitness, eyewitness testimony to document these things from the past. Would you right, agree? But, we don't, but we don't use a couple, we don't use the same source for eyewitness accounts. We use multiple cross-referenced accounts. Second of all, we don't, you know, assume if somebody sees magic happen, that means they it happened. We, we, we don't assume magic or people rose from the dead because somebody claimed to have seen it, right? That takes extra evidence that a simple story or eyewitness account will not give you. From my understanding, there was, was at least an entire town. I, I don't know the exact population, but there was more than 500 of people who saw Jesus resurrect after he was crucified. Um, come back, I think it was like for 40 days. Uh, don't quote me on that. But there was a lot of people who witnessed this. So but yes, so but you have claims of witnesses. Right, you don't know these witnesses. You don't know what they saw. You don't know who they are. You just have a, a story that says there's witnesses, right? I can make up a story and say a thousand witnesses saw Bigfoot take a shit, right? It doesn't make it true. Um, we need more than just oh, some people in the same storybook said they saw this magic man do something, uh, you know, magical. That's ridiculous. So what would, for this time period, what would you consider? strong con concrete evidence for let's just say for the psychic argument uh, jesus resurrection if anything f falsifiable if you don't have that it's not evidence you know the only thing that those people from that time period can do is write things down correct okay well then it's not falsifiable right <laughs> i wouldn't i'm not going to accept no rational person is going to accept a story as evidence right well, a story alone is just a story so how come that is not acceptable to you? But for example, why is it acceptable for you to believe Caesar happened? Um, you know, any ancient person. We have way more data for Caesar. We have cross references from multiple countries, coins with his face on it, uh, memoirs from Caesar himself. We have a lot more than just a story, you know? And um, we have tons of archeological evidence of Caesar, none for Jesus, zero, zip. Nada. Jesus was an historical historical person. I, I I was led to believe that something that people agreed on that Jesus did exist. Okay, or, if he I did exist, it doesn't mean he's a god. Let's say I can grant you he existed. I can say he did exist. It doesn't mean he's a god. Well, I will argue that he is because people have witnessed him die. If somebody tells me that they are god and they die, and three days later they come up and it's documented by his uh, disciples. I think that's strong evidence that Jesus is God and God exists. Okay. But for you. So yeah. if I write a story and I say a thousand people saw Mr. Miku rise from the dead and there's uh, 50 disciples, would that be evidence of Mr. Magoo? Well, no, because you are just writing from one. While meanwhile, we have five other people, let's just, for uh, argument's sake, we have more than one eyewitness. No, because you're just saying in my you, story, there's 50. There's 50 eyewitnesses in my story. Yes, but we have number two, three, and four saying the same thing. Just because yeah, it we, doesn't mean it, anything. The same applies to my story. We all have we have four accounts of, of Mr. Magoo taking a shit, a magical shit, and they're all congruent with each other. They all very, very the same story. Yeah, we can argue about anything then you can just say let's say the scientists just gathered one day and say yeah you know um the big bang happened let's just made up that, that story you can say that as well too the big bang is evidenced by observable data vastly different than a magical man resin resurrecting so because the big so i guess let me just ask for you because uh, i've learned different people interpret different, different things what is the big bang theory to you 
The Big Bang model is the description of the expansion of the universe, the known cosmic evolution that preceded our current state. So what created the Big Bang before that? What created that spark? There is no before the Big Bang necessarily. We don't know what is before. Maybe there is no before. Maybe it always was. Now, do you have evidence of God before I kick you? I mean, other than that, that's all I got for now. Um, I appreciate your time, man. I will check out your YouTube channel. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. <clears throat> the Big Bang is observable. Theories don't mean they're not true. Theories are explanations. They're mechanisms. But behind those mechanisms are facts and truths and observations. Well, that was the best argument we've heard today. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Okay, how old are you? <clears throat> 18 years old. What year were you born? 2006. Uh, what month? March. Okay, and uh, how can we help you? Um... How is why is God imaginary to you? There's no evidence. No evidence. Yeah. So just explain to me like how how can the universe come to be with no creator? <laughs> well, the universe could have always existed. You do, it doesn't need a creator necessarily. <clears throat> but it does. How could it have always existed? Why couldn't it have always existed? Because every creation needs a creator. And the universe is not creator. It, okay, every god needs a god maker, right? I can say the same thing about God. Well, god is the creator and everything okay, else is then, then, then I can Then I can say the universe is e eternal, right? It's the same thing you're doing. It's the same special bleeding. But it's not. Because the universe can't be a creator. Well, why can't the universe be eternally, eternally existing? Because every creation needs a creator. It's question begging, right? You're assuming there's a creation. Why must there be a creation? Why can't it always be? Why can't it always be? Because every... I said that already. What do you mean? Why is it impossible for the universe to exist forever? Because every creation needs a creator. All right. Have a good day, brother. Do yourself. Every guest needs to go away. <laughs> every illiterate guest needs to get an education. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how can we help you? Hey, so... I'm like a big Catholic, you know, I've read the Bible a couple of times. I respect your beliefs. I think anyone can have their own beliefs. But I was wondering, um, why do you not believe in God? Because there's no evidence, right? Why would you guess? I, I wonder. Anyways, so as I said, I respect your beliefs. But as a Catholic, um, for four, like, as, he, as the other guy said, every creation has a creator, right? But God... It says in the Bible, too, it says in almost every religion, God is the first thing that showed up. <laughs> there was just, uh, before God, there was just a space and time, but then God showed up. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, I'm here. It's God. <laughs> I'm here to save the day. On the first day I made people. Okay. Ah, oh, I love these guests. Hello? I'm here, buddy. How you doing? 
Oh God. Hey, how are you, buddy? I'm doing good. Listen, I know you uh, gave up on me the other night, but listen, I've been listening to your live. I listened to the other guys ahead of me. And what I want to talk about right now, just give me, please listen to me. Okay. See if I'm less echoey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm not here to debate. I'm just curious to know your thought on this. Um, do you think it, uh, a lot of holidays like uh, Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, all that stuff was kind of created just to instill kind of brainwashed kids that there is a God? No. I'm going to talk to someone who disagrees. Oh, my bad, man. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to be in the requests. What is going on today, guys? I'm sorry. We have the worst guest today. Hello? What the heck is going on here? Is everybody just scared? Maybe, maybe, maybe everybody just scared of me. <laughs> oh no, it's Mike. Hey man, how you doing, brother? Thanks for having me on. How you doing? <laughs> Big boo, God's love is here for you. What is happening today? Don't go on TikTok when you're on a construction site. Please, please don't do construction and talk on TikTok. Mike. Mike. What? Can you hear me? What's wrong with you? What's with the face? You know, I don't understand it, dude. Your your arguments are repetitive. You can like toying with the stunted and less blessed. And then I got to bug you for like an hour and a half for to let me come up and ask you a few questions. All right. Uh, is, this, is everybody just trolling me today? Am I getting trolled? Like... Is this like punked or something? Hello. Hello. Can I ask you a couple questions, Mike? Please. Is that, is that Kushner going to like pop yeah. out and say, we got you, Mike. <laughs> Look, all these oh. guests are terrible, right? Hey. Yeah. Are you listening, sir? Um, again, I, you know, you like to claim, you know, we all like to claim that we're smart, but can you explain the origin of consciousness? <laughs> huh? You know, Explain it. You know, we can all hope, Mike. We can all hope. Okay, Nobody okay. knows. Okay. Nobody okay. knows, but we can still hope. Okay. You're, you're, okay. you're conscious, okay. Mike. You're conscious. Hold on. Take a deep you're conscious. Okay. You Explain the uh, origin of consciousness. Unfortunately, I'm conscious with you, sir. Unfortunately. But just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Okay? In and out. Consciousness. I know what consciousness is. Explain the origin, where it came from. I know what consciousness is. You don't have to tell me that. Explain the origin. Where'd it come from, Mike? I'm, I'm doing it. Why doesn't a rock have I'm consciousness? Doing I'm doing it. Because there are no particular biochemical processes that would yield consciousness. Again, Mike, we're all physical. We're, we're all physical. How did, how did consciousness right. become 
There are okay. certain did, Where did consciousness come I from? Explain. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Where there did consciousness certain... come from? Go ahead. It's called a brain. You have a neural network. These neurons are types of cells. Dude, I know what consciousness is. I know what you're, you're explaining consciousness. I'm asking, explain the origin. <laughs> oh, I, I can't stand this anymore. I just can't. Oh. I just, I need a drink. <sighs> this is why I take a break, guys. This is literally why I take breaks. This right here. Anyway. Consciousness seems to be, I, I agree, it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing phenomenon that we're conscious. The origins, we just don't fucking know. However, we have some ideas. There are certain cells in your body that take in light. These cells are photoreceptors. And sometimes they can change and mutate. And over time, they develop different properties that allow them to exchange electrical signals. And these signals can turn into neural networks. And, and over time, these networks can build into brains and nervous systems and give us this very complex sense of consciousness. That's the, you know, the basics of it. We don't know the full details. Nobody does. But this has nothing to do with God or the origins of God or anything. It wouldn't place any bearing onto God, is God's existence. <clears throat> All right, let's give one more victim here. I, I don't know how, long, how much longer I can do this. I'm a good one. No, you're not a good one. <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> what is wrong with people today? My bad, I'm fine. Can we get someone normal? with at least a couple brain cells. God is not <laughs> God is not sending his best, is he? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, Mike. What is happening today? Did God like come down again? Maybe, maybe everyone's like jittery. What happened today, guys? Why is everybody going crazy? It's just, I, I don't understand it. <clears throat> The full moon. Hello? Perhaps natural science. Um, so you have uh, great philosophers, as many people know, who talked about. And we had the same people coming up, the same people. <laughs> But as if they're not going to notice. I'm new. He'll not notice me. I'm new. Hello? Yo, Mike. Hey, are you normal? Yeah, man, I'm normal. Oh, thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank Yo, you. Do you have brain cells? I actually, unfortunately, I do. And I can understand what's going on here, my yes. man. 
He has brain cells, guys. He has brain cells. Yes, yes, I do. Um, unfortunately, I'm just gonna tell these people. Uh, can you? They read a fucking book that's not the Bible or a Quran. Uh, look at science, and unfortunately, I agree with you, Mike. And I'm not what you're looking for. I just wanted to tell them to please read a book. Uh, and... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, I guess this is kind of good news because. Now, all the people who uh, believe in God are decreasing in numbers. I guess this is good and bad. Let me try one more guest. Hey, Mike. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. I just wanted to let you know what's going on tonight with all these weirdos. They're not eating enough protein. When was the last time they had dog? These people need to eat more dog. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Okay, thank you. He has another character where he tells everyone to eat dog. <laughs> Not to say that we always behave sensibly, but that our feelings and our behaviors arise from our beliefs, uh, beliefs about value and beliefs about the world, and that we can self-correct. What is so, going on? <laughs> what is happening today? I can't do this anymore. What were you going to feed me for dinner? Uh, green bean? Jail. Jail? How long, sir? I don't know if he's jail. Take him away, but not all the time. What the fuck was that? That's it. I, I just can't, guys. I'm done. I can't take it no more. <laughs> I can't take it no more. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody sent all the trolls my way. Maybe Satan. Oh. Sorry, guys. Did you see the vegan took down the older millennial? Yeah. I didn't see that debate. I didn't care for it. Play Fortnite. Yeah. No, I wanted I wanted to debate tonight. <clears throat> I guess I guess it's okay. I wasn't even feeling it too much into it anyway. But maybe next time we'll get more people. Uh, I guess I can do a Q and A maybe, or I don't know who wants who wants to do a Q and A or science general Q and A or science questions. What a day. Thank you for the gifts, though. What is so wrong about believing in God? Nothing's wrong with believing in God on its own. The issue is when you <clears throat> use it to do bad things, you know? People can hijack uh, things 
and the government do harm because of their religion. How do I feel about the people tonight? That's crazy. I never experienced that. Just one after the other, just nonsense, just goobers. Goof after goof. Am I voting Trump? Hell no. Graduation? Oh yeah, maybe that's why. Graduation. Yay, I got a 2.0 GPA. Look, Dad, I'm passed. <laughs> I don't know a damn thing about science, but I passed. All right. Um, what's my bench? Ask your mom. I benched her last night. <clears throat> How much should teachers make be paid? Um, so the funny thing about teaching, <clears throat> it's going to be erased in the next 10, within the next five, six years, there's not going to be any more conventional school. They're all going to be AI. So you're going to see lots of online AI classes with no teachers, no human teachers. They're going to be AI teachers, AI tutors. Um, and they're going to teach way better than any person could. So yeah, we, we, we won't need teachers soon. <clears throat> but currently speaking, they should, yes, be paid way more. Probably 70,000 in US dollars starting at 60. Uh, do you support? No, I don't support communism. Talk about AI. Okay, it's going to take away all your jobs. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so I am making I'm in the midst of making a series of the uh, a future timeline, the next 10 years, I'm going to go year by year and talk about Lots of things that are going to happen. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. Do I watch sports? I do not watch sports. I, I'm constantly watching science podcasts, learning things. I'm, I'm never watching sports. My mind is like a sponge absorbing all the information I can. Do I like cars? Yeah, I do like cars. I like going fast. How long does it take for me to retain information? Very quickly. I'm a very quick learner, very super fast. And the thing about learning is the more you do it, the better you are at it. So over time, I've become more efficient in learning. Just like when you're reading, right? The more you read, the more efficient you become in reading. So that's why a lot of people are just so inefficient because they don't do it.
Thank you, Cora, for the likes. Thank you for tapping the screen. You can tap me anytime. Don't use AI overviews as sources. What? Will there be an economic reset? I don't know about a reset, but a reconfiguration, sure. <clears throat> Things like UBI will be implemented. They have to be. Um, our jobs are going to go away quickly, right? And they already are slowly being replaced. In the next five years, more mi millions more jobs will be replaced. And what we're going to see is lots of protesting, right? It's going to be very bumpy, a very bumpy ride the next five, six years. It's going to get worse, guys. It's going to get worse and worse. But if we can stick through the next seven, eight years, lots of changes coming, lots of good changes coming. Um, robotics and AI are going to eventually bring a lot of um, <clears throat> benefits to us. So yeah, we have, although there's lots of things to worry about, there's lots to be optimistic about. Am I supposed to starve? I know, I know it's, it's crazy, you know, but uh, I think, I think we're going to see lots of great changes happen. Medical cures. Yeah. So they're, they're already producing vaccines for cancer. Uh, <clears throat> they work through mRNA. So it tells your body to, you know, it tells your body how to behave towards certain cancer cells and, and it'll wipe them out in your body. So we already are having, we're producing these vaccine, uh, cancer vaccines. And by 2028, 29, we'll have a whole variety of skin cancer vaccines and prostate cancer vaccines, breast cancer vaccines. So we're going to see a transformation of the, of the medicine industry, uh, the medical industry. Um, it's going to be exponential change because of AI, you know, people aren't really ready for it. Opinion on crypto. Crypto is awesome. I love crypto. I think it's great. Decentralized digital currency. It's great. The issue is the governments don't like it, right? Governments hate it because it's decentralized. They, they rather have the bank system. Um, so, <clears throat> Did you see the new Fortnite season? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't. I I hate it. I don't like the night show. I don't. Really, I don't really play it that much anymore because I've been working. Thoughts on Dogecoin? It's not going to be successful. What if the mRNA sees the whole body as cancer? That's not how that works. What's the first thing you do if time travel to the 1800s? <laughs> I don't want to go that. I don't want to go back then. It was, it was terrible back then. You had nothing. Zero. No technology. Nothing. But what I would do is probably, you know, mess with people. I'd probably be like a jokester, you know, showing them a phone and stuff. Hey, you guys, look at what I could do with this phone. Or like, give them like a match or something. Look, I have a match. Uh, you know, the, the modern day ones, you just flick a switch. <clears throat> or, you know, I just like, I just blow their minds with like little bits of technology here and there, you know. Thoughts on World War Three in the next forty years? I don't think so. I, I think, although there will be scares, I don't think there will be a war. I think that China doesn't want a war, and Russia and China know that a nuclear war is the death of everybody. There's no winner, so they're not going to use nukes. But will there be many wars? Yes, of course. But 
no world war. There will be water wars in the near future, especially in the Middle East and Africa. Lots of people will be fighting over water. Water will become a precious resource. And um, it's sad to see. The poorest among us will be the ones who suffer the most from climate change. Vegan versus meat eaters war. What do you think about that? Vegans are going to win. We already are winning. There's no, there's no way you can win as a meat eater. Be, but number one is because people are recognizing what's happening. And two, culture meats are about to get here. And culture meat is going to be as, as expensive, if not cheaper, than the actual animal meat. People are going to catch on very quickly. UBI is scary, prepackaged communism. Well, yeah, it's not going to be uh, permanent. It's going to be temporary. UBI will be temporary. Temporary. The reason why is because there won't be a need for it. After we reach a certain threshold, there will be no need for UBI because anybody and everybody will be able to produce money easily. It'll be, be, it'll be way easier to generate money because labor will be very cheap because of robotics and AI. So it's going to be a transformation of an economy. Kind of like, <clears throat> kind of like today's like RPG games, right? You know how you play like a game and you send out people to, to go mine the gold for you and you come back and you get the resources, right? It's going to be like the future economy. You're just going to have bots go out, make money for you right? Produce goods, produce services, and then you just reap the benefits of that. You know, it'll be very, very weird, interesting. <clears throat> Why aren't proto cells classified as a lie? Because they don't replicate on their own. They don't replicate on their own independently, right? They require external factors. They kind of um, are parasitic to, for example, you know, hydrothermal vents, they par they're parasitic to those, the energy there. And that's how they replicate. They can replicate, but not on their own. Um, but yes, the, the, the definition of light, the, the lines between life and non-life are very blurry. <clears throat> 